This morning, when I woke up, I was looking around me in my office. What I realized that I'm surrounded by straight lines everywhere. My bookshelves, the table, the walls, the windows, everything is straight line. Occasionally, there are a few controlled curves, but it's like, whoa, don't be too ambitious, too adventurous. Then I started looking at a close-up picture of a flower. The big difference between both, one is man-made, the second one is nature-made. What I realized for man-made, we follow a very simple rule. And the rule is, remember, when we were just getting the first taste of geometry, we were taught the shortest distance between two points is, yes, you got it, a straight line. That lesson got etched, tattooed, embedded, carved in our mind. We never forgot. Mankind never forgets that one lesson. So give us two points, we draw a straight line. But you know, that day, when that class was going on, there was a seat that was empty. The person who missed that class was nature. Somehow, nature never was taught the shortest distance between any two points is a straight line. Which means this goofy nature, if you take every petal, every leaf, anything nature does, every cloud, it finds different ways to connect two dots. And that is, in my humble opinion, the core of creativity. Creativity starts when we unchoose past learnings, past rules, what we should do, must do, could do, and open up to why can't I do this? What do I want to do? Think. What would happen today if you woke up before you're going to work and say, I don't want to follow the rule of wearing the same colored socks on both feet. What happens if you go to a restaurant and say, hey, could I start with the dessert menu? There's nothing wrong about it. Who said we have to start with an appetizer or an entree? When I was talking to one of the top golf players, I real realized that in the game of golf, creativity is very important in short selection. Most people start from the tee box. We'll hit a driver, then this is what we'll do. He said, Arjun, I'll start backwards. I go back to the green and even tell myself, this is the part of the green I want my ball to come. Then I look back, where will the ball come from to come here? Then I look back to get there, where do I hit, have to hit from? And that's the way he chooses his first shot. Totally flip it, totally different. Same thing in the business world. Why do we have to start the meeting by what are the next key steps? Why can't we on days pause by saying, hey guys, where do we have to be? Let's just all feel good about painting the picture of that place. Who will sit where as we hold the trophy to, to take that big picture? Let's be comfortable about the picture. Let's pause, breathe, lock it in our minds, and then start backwards. Now, as I started reflecting on this little more, I realized in the business world, we give ourselves a lot of credit for the amazing skill of connecting the dots. 
the person who can connect the dots is so cool. But I really would request you to pause for a second. Connecting the dots means you're limiting yourself to the dots that already exist. Why can't we free ourselves? Why can't we pause and say, before we connect, let us collect as many dots as we can? And I'll give you an example. Today, when you're traveling to work or a place that you normally travel every day. We have our automated routine that we plan. It'll take 32 minutes, get in the car, press the GPS, GPS then through traffic navigates and whoa, in 30 minutes, two minutes early, we get there. What happens if you find that smart GPS? I bet it exists. Where you and the GPS have a heart to heart. First you ask, hey, how are you doing? Thanks for guiding me every day. And then you surprise the GPS by saying, hey, today I'm throwing a dare at you. Instead of 32 minutes, I have 62 minutes. I still need to get to my destination on time. But hey, can you just plan where I can pause at a local coffee shop for a cup of coffee? And then could you find me a good, beautiful, scenic place where I can sit, enjoy the cup of coffee. And then, could you find a flower shop where can, I can take some flowers for a few members of my team to thank them for an incredible job that they do? All yours, buddy. Take me there. What you did is you started collecting more dots for the GPS. GPS has this incredible skill of connecting dots as you go through. So the path to creativity, I feel, starts with a mindset. To mindset to give ourselves permission to travel on a path less or never traveled. The path always exists. But getting out of that comfort zone of following the path that I travel every day because I know it gets me there. And going beyond opens up the mind to what else will I find in the journey today. There's a little bit of discomfort, a little bit of uneasiness. But that uneasiness and discomfort, the moment you feel, you know you're on the path to creativity, something new. So my challenge slash dare to you, unchoose one thing that you do every day. And if you want to be very adventurous, go to a restaurant and ask for the dessert menu first and see how much fun you feel and how everybody around you freaks out. Life's about fun. Creativity is the path. But it starts with unchoose, unchoose, and unchoose.